Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Recently, I posted this video of myself shaving my eyebrow off on various social media that I have, and I had to laugh because a lot of people thought it was real and were very concerned that I had just shaved my eyebrow off uh, live on social media. So I thought, maybe I'll do a tutorial on it. So actually, this is a pretty easy effect to do. Um, I'm going to take my raw footage and drop it on here, and then I'll just sort of trim this up a little bit. So now that that has been trimmed to what I want, I'm going to just right click and say make into a composite shot, clicking OK. And then I'm going to go to the point where I drop that from my eye, and you'll notice that I did that fairly quickly, about here is where it really drops. So I'm just going to slice that because that is where I am going to work on removing my eyebrow. So what I need to do first is go ahead and track my eyebrow. So I'm just going to move forward a little bit here, and then I will set up a new track. It will take me to the layer. Uh, tab, which is fine, and then uh, I will zoom in here using my scrolling mouse wheel, and I'm just going to place the tracker over my eyebrow, and then I will go ahead and track forward, and then opening up, I want to come back to where, and if I just double click on that, you'll see it takes me there, and I want to go ahead and track it backwards from there. And it will go ahead and record that information data all the way back until the very end of the clip, which then it will give me a, hey, uh, there's no more to go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go back into my viewer tab. And under new layer, I will add a point. And I can go ahead and trim that point up to where that layer starts. And then under the tracker, I can go ahead and transform that data to the new point and click apply. So now the point itself is tracking with my eyebrow there, as you can see. So now all I have to do is use a clone stamp effect to make this happen. I'm going to add a new plane layer and click OK, bringing it down below. And again, it only needs to be from where the clone stamp happens to start. What I will do is I will go ahead and parent that to the new point so that the plane moves. And I'm going to just zoom in again and using the masking tool, I will simply mask around where my eyebrow is. Okay, and I will be fairly careful to be able to get it all. And then all I have to do is just move that mask a little bit so that it's in a place where it is uh, covering my forehead. Now, I can't use the clone mask tool and source the plane directly because it sources the plane before the mask is applied. So I'm going to add a new grade layer, and I will place that grade layer above the new mask, and then, uh, or the masked plane, I should say. And then, under the raw footage, I will look for the clone stamp effect. I will drag that onto the raw footage and opening that up, I will source the grade layer itself. And so now it is looking for that mask and all I have to do is just open up target and just slide that down until it essentially covers my eyebrow like that. And because the mask will move around as my head moves around, it will be very easy for it to, it's tracking along, right? That's why I did the track in the first place. And it's really that simple. Uh, that's how I did this very quick and easy, oh, I shaved my eyebrow off effect for social media. So if you like this kind of content, do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the little bell icon for notifications. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.